I've been asked to make a tutorial about Toon Squid or just if I have any to recommend, so I'm gonna do that now. Uh, Toon Squid tutorial, let's go. You probably have the attention span of a fruit fly, you know, short form content and all, so I'll add some subway servers or something to keep you occupied. Toon Squid is a $10 app on iPad only. The creator has no plans to port it, as far as I know, that's what he used to say. Uh, so better get yourself an iPad. Most people are interested in using Toon Squid for tweening, so I'll be covering that primarily. Um, if you want to know how to animate frame by frame, then you should probably look up a different tutorial. Uh, I don't know. Tweening is when you cut up a character into a bunch of different pieces and then you make it move using like graphs or interpolation. You can use this. You can do this in a lot of different apps, but uh, I'll be you know focusing on Toon Squid. And however you cut up your character is kind of up to you, but Essentially, whatever parts you want to move are what you're going to need to cut out. So if you want the ears to move, they're going to need to be on a separate layer than the head. Uh, keyframe layouts are a whole nother beast, and they're pretty tricky to figure out. And however you choose to do them can really vary from person to person. But if you want a GIF to loop perfectly, then you're going to want to make sure the first and last keyframe are exactly the same. Toon Squid recently updated with its biggest update yet, the 2.0 update, which includes a lot of cool new features and effects, including meshes, bone rigs, and some other stuff, but I'll be focusing on meshes and bone rigs since people seem to not understand those. Uh, you can find multiple tutorials online if you want to know like everything that got added and how to use them, but for meshes, you're going to need to cover your entire little symbol part thing with the mesh so that the bones can properly uh, work. Uh, if you don't have a mesh, the bones aren't gonna work and if you don't have bones, the mesh uh, doesn't do anything at all. And there's a new way to tween using warp and perspective. Uh, but those are a lot easier to figure out and you can do that on your own. Uh, depending on your part, the mesh is gonna have to cover it all. If you're making uh, your character here, which is like where you make a animation and then replace parts of it with somebody else's character, you're going to want to make the mesh bigger so that it can cover different options. So if you have a cat tail, you're going to want to make sure a fox tail can fit there too. With making the mesh bigger comes the challenge of the bones being a little different, like they'll act stranger. This can be tweaked by hand, but uh, don't make the mesh the entire canvas size. It's going to make things harder and it'll look kind of shitty. A good portion of tweening is just trial and error, and that's what you know makes it fun. You can use the keyframe layout I'm showing on screen right now, but you can probably make something a lot more interesting if you have a bit of patience and time. I'm not good at explaining things or making tutorials or talking at all, and I'm recording this as a voiceover, so if you have any questions, I'll try to answer them in the comments to the best of my ability, but you can probably find some better tutorials online somewhere. I just thought I'd make this. Uh, that's about it. See ya.